Hi, I'm Ben, co-creator of Calipeg. In this video, you will learn how to animate a scrolling background with the parallax effect. Basically, the parallax effect means that objects closer to the camera will move faster than objects in the distance. For this demo, I have prepared a Calipeg shot with different layers. A road, a hill, a sky, which is a plain color with decreased opacity. A city, a sand, a spaceship, a mountains, a first set of clouds, a second one, a second sky to filter the colors and create depth, island 1 and island 2. Let's prepare the road layer, which is the foreground. I show this layer only. As you can see here, I didn't paint the left or right borders of my painting, because I will move them to create my scrolling loop animation. Duplicate the road layer with its content. You can do that two times, if you want to keep one of them hidden and locked somewhere in your layers pile. Tap the transformation icon and move your drawing to the left. Let one finger on the screen to stay on the horizontal line. The pivot point in the center will be magnetized to the left side. Do the same on the second road layer to the right. Validate your transformation and go back to your brush tool. This setup here is made to have the exact same location for the two borders to create the illusion of the loop. Now I have to paint what's in the middle of the road. I choose my brush, which is a simple brush here, and I will paint with a freehand fill shape tool. Tap on the shape one to select it, and twice to make it filled. I display the floating menu with the long touch two fingers on the canvas, and I display the color wheel. With the color picker, I select the color I need, and then I paint the rest of my road. Now select the two road layers and tap on the merge icon. Duplicate this layer with its content and add one of them to a transformation layer. Tap on that icon here so you can zoom in and out with your fingers and move your drawing with your pencil. Move the pivot point to the right with a finger on the screen to magnetize it to the side of your element. Then move it to the opposite side of the canvas. Now you can select the transformation layer the world layer within it, and the other world layer, and add them in the transformation layer. I double tap on the name of the layer and name it global. And this layer here is our scrolling foreground layer. Move your element and reset the transformation to add a keyframe in this location. You can also go here and add keyframes by tapping the diamond. I would like this scrolling background loop to be 2 seconds long and the whole animation to be 10 seconds long. If your mark out marker is still here, you can just long touch on it and drag it where you want it to be. Or in my case, I know that my animation will be 240 frames long, so I just go further, double tap on the ruler, out. I have to select the sheets of my two rows layer with a tap and tap drag. I can extend it. 48 frames or simply tap here 48 now go to the end of the loop select the global transformation layer move the pivot point to the left and move the road to the right i want it to go until 48 so i can select those two keyframes with a tap and tap drag and drag them here now you can play your animation and see your foreground scrolling in a 2 seconds loop. If you want it to go faster, make the loop shorter. As an example here, I could go to 12 and split the two sheets, select and delete those two sheets here, select my keyframes and drag them to 12. And now my foreground is way faster. And I prefer that version, so I will keep it. The whole animation is 10 seconds long, so I have to make this loop longer. For this, you will flatten the global transformation layer to ones or twos, depending on the animation smoothness you want. The transformation layer is hidden, but not deleted, so you can still work on it later if you want. Select all the sheets of this new layer, that way, or you can also tap the menu, select all the sheets, add a cycle, then extend the cycle until it's 240 frames long. You can also set the number of cycles here. Now we want to animate each part of the background. So each part here 
needs to be 240 frames long. I will select them and extend it or just tap here to set their duration. And now let's animate each part of the background. Add the hill layer in the transformation layer. Move it to the left to set your first keyframe. Go to the end of your animation and move it to the right. Select and move your keyframes to the end. Now you can play your animation and see if the speed is okay for you here. Let's animate the city and the sand. Select the city and the sand layers and add them to transformation layer. Since this element is as large as the canvas, scale it up a bit to be able to animate it and never see the drawing borders. I go to the transformation menu here. I add an X keyframe. I go to the end of my animation and I move it slightly. It can be a very subtle movement since it's far in the distance. Do the same for the spaceship. It might be a little too much here, so I go to the advanced settings and I move it to the right to make a smaller movement. I do the same for the clouds. And maybe a tiny bit for the island. But not for the one in the distance here. Now I have a nice parallax effect and I will just add my character. I made a running cycle in another shot in Calipeg and I exported it as an HTVC video with a transparent background. So here I go to the top of my layers pile, I add a video layer, import files, I select my run cycle, then I will just transform it, flip it so he runs in the proper direction and now I will just double tap to select and duplicate. So I have my video of the entire animation. Now I add the video layer into a transformation layer. I will scale it down, put it here, and that's it. You now know how to animate a scrolling background and a parallax effect using Calipeg on your iPad. I hope you found this video useful. Share your parallax animation on TikTok or Instagram using hashtag Calipeg and have fun animating.